Okay, Schlock Master fans, from the D Emmanuel collection, we're going to watch something called Inhibition. Let's check it out. That movie starts on a plane. That guy's name is Peter. We'll meet him later. Also on the plane are Carol. Peter's going to get lucky here. Carol is a rich woman. She's with Anna, her secretary, basically. Anna's played by a long scholar. For that and for other business. Thank you. I don't know how they found out. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, sir. There is no casino. Gambling is prohibited. This is a museum now. I see. Thanks so he's looking for a casino. He ain't finding one. Then Carol hops in the shower with the secretary, Anna. I have to give you a spanking, Anna. Later on, Carol laments that she's getting older. Because you're young. And I envy you. Why? You're still young, Carol. As young as you. And it's frightening. In what way? Someday I'll look in a mirror and I'll realize that I'm no longer young. And then it's all over. What are you trying to say? I'll commit suicide. Inc. And besides, the reason I'm here is to work as your secretary. You can criticize my work. You pay me for it. But nothing else. If you prefer to look for another secretary, then say so and I'll get the next plane out. Hmm. That's much better. That's how I like it. A savage little animal. So, okay. You must never show your real feelings, no matter what, or you're finished. When you talk like that, you seem to be quite inhuman, Carol. That's the risk of playing the game. It's what loneliness does to people. That's sad. Well, this evening we're going to really have fun. I'll show you tonight how all men are just marionettes. A born gambler who always lost. Meanwhile, hey, Peter's gambling. You know where I can find him? That depends on whether he's paid his debts off. To get Manu. I see. Well, I still want to find him. What for? You want to try to talk him into a game? What do you do, Peter? That's my name. I'm Marlene, and American. And this evening I want to be really entertained. My battle stats are salads, Marlon Brando, and scotch. Especially scotch. Meanwhile, Carol is That's nice, basically showing how much power she has over men. She's trying to teach Anna certain things. They run into Peter it's a rough area. and they recognize him from the plane. Beautiful girls like you to wander around here alone. They might rape us, is that it? It's possible. Might be kind of fun, don't you think? For a masochist. Anna meets a guy named Rob. Hello? You're an American, aren't you? Yes. Are you here on vacation? Kind of. My name's Robert Lee Francis. From New York. I've got a place on the island. I'm staying there too. At the Levis Villa. You see a flashback to her late husband. Carol's late husband was attending some sort of orgy, watching it all take place. He's wheelchair bound, I guess he can't do anything. And then he parades his wife in and she's just like the house entertainment. Same thing. Later on, they're all at a club, clubbing. I'm not used to being just any woman. It is so important to stand over the others. Still, I suppose you are different in some way. And you, are you different? During this orgy, her husband had a heart attack and died. Didn't seem too broke up by it. Rob and Anna want to take it to the next level. If you want, we can make love now. Why do you say it like that, Anna? 
Listen, do you mind if we make a kind of a pact? What kind? Pact. No questions. Yeah, all right. They eventually hop in the water, do their thing. My compliments, Miss Dennis. It may seem a funny thing to say, but I'm happy you won. You always seem to have lost in your life. What a presumptuous bastard you she are. She owned a you horse or something or one for horse races. I'm so Dumb little bitch. If you can't talk sense, keep your mouth shut. <sighs> What's the matter with you, Carol? What's got into you? You've no right to talk to me like that. Are you still upset about Robert? I haven't seen him since that day. You've been a different girl since you went with that shit. You're always thinking about him. No, I'm not. For God's sake, stop thinking that all men are rotten shits just because you had a few experiences that went badly. Ha! Huh. You're so naive, Anna. It's pathetic. Oh. Oh. Later on, she steals Robert from him, from her. Can't really see anything, but she saw it. How all three of you undress? Now I blow to her. Later on, Carol sleeps with Peter, completing your task to sleep with every character in the film. Just. Then Peter turns the tables on her because she was kind of falling for him and wanted him to stay, but he ain't interested. And apparently he's got a horse to get away from her. And that's our film. All right, let's talk about the movie Inhibition. Um, I rented this movie and copied it uh, from a video store. I think I got it from a place called uh, uh, The Pictorium. It was in Mishicot, Wisconsin, uh, back around 19, summer of 1989, maybe. Mishicot is uh, where Stephen Avery's from and where he uh, resided until he got arrested multiple times. But I digress. Anyway, um, it was called Inhibition, and it was a private screenings videotape. I now own that videotape. Um, the only way you can get this on DVD is on this D. Emmanuel collection, um, and it's uh, it's in like German or Italian language too. So they don't have an English soundtrack. So what I showed you was I burned a copy of the VHS tape, so I have the English soundtrack. Now I know there's a few bootlegs floating around too. You can find them on eBay. Those are probably just copies of the same thing that I just did. But whatever, I got I got both versions. So um, this Emmanuel collection, by the way, also has Forever Emmanuel. And uh, Emmanuel und Lolita, which is another, uh, it's not really an official Emmanuel movie, and that one's also in German or Italian only, too. So, but anyway, the movie itself, um, if you look on IMDb and look up this movie, it came out in 1976, it's also called Inhibitions, and uh, how it's known on this one is Emanuela Dean Wilder Erderberdiermund, or something like that. Um, that's just probably the original title. Um, there's three reviews for it, uh, critic reviews on IMDb, well, there'll be a fourth one once I get mine up there, um, and two of them are in German, one of them is in English, and the guy who did it in English has a really long write-up for this movie and how much he enjoyed it and thinks it's a cut above. I honestly found the film a little bit slow, um, but hey, maybe that's just me. There is enough nudity in this movie to keep you, uh, uh, going, but, um, and they're lovely actresses. Stars Claudine Bacari. And Ilona Stoller, also known as Chicholina. Um, Claudine Carey, Beccari, uh, apparently was an Italian adult film actress, but she wanted to get into regular films. So this was, I think, her, her, her debut in a non-porn movie. Um, she was really upset, though, because the director apparently put some inserts of porn in the movie. She was so upset that she picketed, or actually she held a, um, she went on a hunger strike outside one of the movie theaters that was playing it. Pointless, I don't know, but whatever, She maybe she made her point, I don't know. Anyway, the other actress who played Anna was uh, Ilona Stoller, who ironically became a porn star later on. In fact, she became so famous in Italy, she ran for parliament and got elected. Um, and she was a member of uh, par Italian parliament for a number of years. Um, she, her name is Ilona Stoller, but she also went by the name of Ciccio Lina. So there you go. Um, the story is about Anna and Carol. Uh, Anna is an heiress. Her husband passed away recently. Anna's very bitter, and she's got um, 
a lot of hang-ups. We find out later on that her husband was kind of a cad. He was wheelchair-bound. I don't think he could do anything sexually, but he had no problem borrowing out his uh, wife to uh, orgies. He would attend these orgies and just watch them happen. His wife was on parade, and she just basically was forced to sleep with everybody. She didn't seem to mind it, to be honest with you, but apparently she did, and that's why she's bitter. And he actually had a heart attack at one of these events. And I showed you that little clip of that one, and that's, uh, that's when he passed away. So now she's bitter. She decides, she basically sleeps with everybody in the film that she encounters, including Anna, her secretary. Anna and Carol have kind of a combative relationship. Anna is always mad at Carol because Carol's kind of a bitch. Uh, Anna eventually meets this guy named Rob, and then later on in the movie, uh, Carol sleeps with Rob. She also sleeps with this guy, Peter, who I don't know exactly who he is. He's the male star of this movie. He came over on a plane with them, but he wasn't with them. He was on the same plane with them. And uh, he hangs out with them and uh, gambles a lot. I don't know, eventually near the end of the movie, um, uh, we see Anna sleep with, I'm sorry, Carol sleep with Rob, Anna's boyfriend. And then uh, Anna walks off. I don't think we see her again after that. And then she sleeps with Peter at the end of the movie. And then I think, I got the impression that she liked Peter and wanted him to stay. You know, she's finally like settling down. Maybe all men, men aren't evil. But then Peter's like, ah, I'm out of here. And he rides away on a horse and that's how our movie ends. That is Emanuela, a.k.a. Inhibition, a.k.a. Inhibition. So anyway, like I mentioned, there's a fair amount of nudity in this movie, and the nude scenes are pleasant. Um, again, it depends on who you talk to. If you talk to that guy on IMDb, this is a fantastic, fantastic, rare film, hard to find these days. Um, you can get on this collection, though. And um, yeah, I don't know. It was okay for what it was, put that way. So anyway... That's it. I will leave a link to this thing if this is available on Amazon or or something. I'll leave a link to something on there. Check it out. Let me know if anybody's seen this thing. Nobody watches this stuff but me, right? Nobody's seen Inhibition. Whatever. Check it out. Leave some comments. Inhibition. Watch it. Bye. I know you're not going to watch it.